After all, oh, yeah, Chip, do you know what it means to throw back? Sure, that's when I take one of my acorns and instead of tossing it forward, I toss it backward. No, well, I guess it would be a throwback, too. But, hmm, the throwback I'm talking about is when you remember something from a long time ago. Oh, so I thought it would be fun to throw back to the first time we met. Oh, yeah, let's throw back. Will you throw back with us? Let's go! I was trying to learn to skateboard. It wasn't going very well. <laughs> I kept falling and falling, but I kept trying. Yeah, and I was standing next to my favorite tree. Then all of a sudden, someone was rolling right towards me. I couldn't stop, so I just yelled, Look out, little squirrel! I'm learning how to skateboard and I'm not very good yet! Um... I don't think you said all of that. Oh, really? What did I say? All I remember is... Ah! Then, boom! The squirrel jumped in front of the tree and crashed into me. I was trying to stop you from running into my favorite tree. So that's how Chip and I first bumped into each other. We really bumped into each other. Yeah, we did. We just laid there on the ground trying to figure out what to do next. I remember. I knew I needed to say sorry. But I was still a little sore from the fall. And I didn't know you from any other squirrel. How did I know if you would forgive me? To forgive someone means you don't stay angry about something they did. When you say, I forgive you, it lets them know that you're ready to let it go and be friends again. But, did Chip forgive me? That is the question. Hmm, I wonder. What do you think, friends? Let's keep wondering while we check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 18. Jesus wanted to teach the people about forgiveness. When you say, I forgive you, you let it go so that you can be friends again. So he told a story. In Jesus' story, there was a king who decided to collect the money that another man owed him. One man owed the king 10,000 bags of gold, but he was not able to pay it back. The king ordered the man to sell everything he owned to pay the money back. The man begged the king to give him time to get all the money back. The king felt sorry for him, so he did more than give him more time. The king forgave the whole debt. That means he didn't have to pay it back anymore. But after the forgiven man, found someone who owed him 100 silver coins. This was nothing compared to what he owed the king before. Just like he had done, the man begged for time to get all the money back. Instead of forgiving, like the king had forgiven him, he had the man put in jail. Others saw this happening and told the king. The forgiven man was brought before the king and he exclaimed, you horrible servant. I had the power to punish you, but I showed you mercy and forgave you instead. So shouldn't you have mercy on the other servant? The king was so angry that he had the man thrown into jail where he would stay until he could pay the king back. Jesus ended the story by saying that we should forgive others. God has forgiven us so much. Because of that, we can always forgive. cool Bible story? The king in the Bible story is like God. God always forgives us when we mess up. And God wants us to forgive others too. Because God loves everybody. That reminds me. We need to finish the story of when we first met Callie. Right you are, Chip. So, after Callie ran into me on her skateboard, I was mad. But then I took a deep breath. 
I didn't know who this girl was, but I knew she didn't run into me on purpose. It was an accident. It was! I wasn't trying to run into you or your favorite tree. I know, I'm a squirrel. I'm always running away from people, cars, birds, even mailboxes. You get chased by mailboxes? You have no idea. Anyway, I knew my new squirrel friend Chip was upset. It was hard for me to ask because I was sore from falling. But I said to Chip, I'm sorry for crashing into you. Will you forgive me? I could tell it was kind of hard for you to say that. Friends, is it ever hard for you to ask for forgiveness when you're hurt, angry, or sad about something? Even if you know you should, it's hard. But I did it. You did. You got up, shook yourself off, and said, Of course I forgive you. Let's be friends. And that was it. Friends ever since. Best pals. Whoa, forgiving others is a good way to make friends. And a good way to keep them too. I'm really glad that God made it so that we can forgive, like God forgives us. Me too. We can always forgive. Bye. Sweet, sweet revenge. It always feels good, doesn't it? Right? Well, it does feel good to get payback for a couple seconds, maybe even a few minutes, but then you start to feel bad, and you start to think, maybe it would have just been better to forgive them. Jesus tells a great parable about this in Matthew 18. Let's read. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began the settlement, a man who owed him 10,000 bags of gold was brought to him. Since he was not yet able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had be sold to repay the debt. At this, the servant fell on his knees before him. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him, canceled the debt, and let him go. This is a great example of forgiveness, but the story doesn't stop here. It gets a lot more interesting. When that servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred silver coins. He grabbed him and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell to his knees and begged him, be patient with me and I will pay it back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown into prison until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw what had happened, they were outraged and went and told their master everything that had happened. So the master called the servant in. You wicked servant, he said. I canceled all the debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? In anger, his master handed him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay back all he owed. Moral of the story, we should always forgive, especially when someone else forgives us. And that's our big idea. We can always forgive. Let's say it all together, Journey Kids. We can always forgive. See you next week. Hebrews 13:8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever.